What's up, guys, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. So I started watching um, the sequel to The Haunting of Hill House called The Haunting of Bly Manor. And the very beginning, at least the first couple of episodes, reminded me a lot of a mix between The Shining and The Haunted Manor, at least a ride at Disneyland. And that jogged my memory that there was a um, Muppets movie with, um, about The Haunted Manor and an old 2003 or so movie starring Eddie Murphy about The Haunted Mansion. Or not manor, so haunted mansion. So I decided that, or I figured I would give the Muppets um, mini, I guess, made for TV movie a watch to see how that is. And so I did, and that actually made me want to rewatch the Eddie Murphy film because I did re do remember watching it a couple of months ago for the first time, and I didn't think anything here or there, or I guess either way about it. So. Um, I decided I would give it a watch after liking the Muppets version to see how it holds up or kind of give it its own review apart from people generally not liking the film. And I want to say that for what they did in both movies, they were actually pretty well done. Um, I would give my favor a little bit more to the Muppets movie because it kind of felt like you were in the same place as the Muppets going on the Haunted Mansion ride and coming across all the various elements. So I liked it for that front. As far as the Eddie Murphy movie, it kind of felt like they were trying to create a story around the ride, aside from what we see at, or aside from what we know of from the ride itself, whether it's Disneyland or Disney World. So in general, I want to say that um, the at least as far as the Muppets version, the Muppets version of the film goes, um, it was good that um, it was good as far as um, taking you through the haunted mansion on the rise. We have uh, Gonzo and I want to say. Um, front now I forgot his name but um, his friend going through the haunted mansion um, meeting all the various characters getting sucked in and lured in and all of that um, so I the reason I think I liked it is because they kept it along the lines it wasn't quite the same as the ride itself but it was a, um, a good parallel as far as um, taking you through the Haunted Mansion and coming across these various elements of the Haunted Mansion and um, getting back out again. As far as the Eddie Murphy film goes, I, for me it feels like it was not as well received just because it was trying to create a story around a Haunted Mansion that wasn't really there. I guess like the lore of it is kind of thin. So... Um, then create the story and add the various elements in. So while the story itself was okay as far as Eddie Murphy's wife being a spitting image of the wife of the uh, or the lover of uh, one of the ghosts who owned the haunted mansion, it was all of that was fine and the various elements were okay. But it for me, I enjoy. So I will say I enjoyed the film. It was good this second time around in watching it. Um, but I think the issue is that it, it took too many things, I guess, out of order. It wasn't, didn't quite feel much like the ride. They included enough of the elements like the grand ballroom with the, um, dancing ghosts. You have the singing ghosts. Um, you have the hallways and the look and feel. I think the only thing that was a little different was the um carriage that they use which looked different but th i think the reason i like the muppets part of that a little bit better was they made light of the um announcer in the ride that um the ride has stopped and will continue after everyone's arms and legs are um back inside the carriage so things like that like basically the muppets movie was uh, self-referential and funny and all of that the eddie murphy version was trying to create that film but I think 
they didn't necessarily use Eddie Murphy to the best extent that they could have. I thought he was particularly funny, but I always think he's funny in the good and the roles he plays. But it kind of fell a little bit too much of fish out of water. And I don't know, it kind of felt like the Muppets template of the film, as far as the story goes, could have been applied better to the Eddie Murphy film or maybe they learned from the Eddie Murphy version of the film and created the Muppets version and that's why I like that one better so in general when you go back and watch the Eddie Murphy version of Haunted Mansion I will say it's it's not a great film by any means but <clears throat> it's also to me not as bad as it as it was received um, essentially they were trying to create a story out of a ride and it didn't necessarily work as well as it could have so at this point if you've never been on the ride I would still say watch either of the movies first and then go on the ride and you'll get more out of it but the movies aren't bad it's just that it, I, I don't know I think the 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 live action film just was ahead of its time so if they had done the Muppets version first and then applied it to the live action version it could have been done it could have been done better I guess but um I don't know like for me the thing that kind of messes with me is like the first um maybe 30 minutes or so of the live action film was well presented you have Eddie Murphy and his wife set up as real estate agents and um um, living the dream, wanting to take a vacation, um, setting up, going to the haunted mansion, setting up the idea of the owners of the Mr. Gracie wanting to sell the house, um, the introduction setting up what happened between Gracie and his lover, and all of that was good. And then when they start to introduce the elements, I think it feels like it's too much out of place, or they were trying to fit the various elements of the ride into the story, and that's kind of where it fell apart. So. Um, for me, if I was to grade the live-action film, I'd probably give it about a 50%. It was okay, not great, but it could have been better. As far as the um, animated version, or the semi-animated version, I guess, with the Muppets and all that, I would probably give that one about an 85%. It was good, it was funny, I enjoyed it, it wasn't long enough, and all of that, so I kind of want them to remake the Haunted Mansion live action movie where it feels like Ewan McGregor, Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi would um, play well as far as the host of the house um, potentially even Mr. Grady and then even they could even potentially keep Eddie Murphy in the basically if they kept the cast as far as Eddie Murphy his wife the kids and all of that and all the ghosts and everything else. Everything else I think would have worked if they had kept it more toward along the lines of um, going through the house to find the various elements to make their way out. Because the ride tells a good story as you're going through it. It's just that um, I think fitting it to a movie is kind of hard, but it's one of those things that um, is hard to do for a movie or translating a ride to a movie so that's kind of why it did worse than it should have so with that being said that's all there is for this particular um review so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that you can comment on this post on twitter at patel n01 the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, you can get early access, upcoming content, uh, support the show, and all of that good stuff over on Patreon at patreon.com slash pateln01. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time. <laughs>